Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're blessed and kept of the Lord. So guys, it's that time again of doing amazing and easy recipes. Today guys, we're going to be doing the amazing, I mean, the best soft layered chapatis ever. This recipe is so easy and it is so simple, but the results are just mouth watering. So guys, our ingredients are quite simple, like there's nothing beyond what you see now, apart from of course water. So you're going to be needing flour, and you can use either eggs or whichever flour that you love. But for me, I'm going to be using the ajab, um, all-purpose flour, there's sugar, salt, cooking oil, and the holy grail, butternut. Now, you can use your the malenge that you have, the pumpkin that you have, the, this, the normal ones that you can cut into pieces. But for me, I'm going to be using this butternut. So guys, I'm just going to chop it up, boil it, and then... So guys, the butternut is peeled. We are going to boil it until soft and tender. And then we're just going to blend it. So guys, at this point, the butternut is ready. Um, you can see my fork can easily go through. So I'm just going to switch off my cooker. Then we're going to blend this butternut and put the butternut in my blender. In this blender, we're going to add hot boiling water, just a little bit. I had already boiled this water. And then I'm going to add the ingredients, including some oil. So I'm just going to pour in some oil, salt, salt, to taste enough for the chapatis that I'm going to be cooking. Enough sugar. So guys, at this, I, I really don't measure. I just know how much I need to put. Until my ancestors say, they whisper, enough our child. So guys, I've already blended my butternut with the ingredients that I wanted to be put inside. So I'm just going to pour it into my basin or rather the container that you will use to make your dough. So we're going to pour in our flour. So I'll be making half of this, so it's like half a kg, sorry, one kg, because this is a two kg flour. So I'm going to put half of it, which is going to be like, I'm cooking one kg chapatis. So once it's in, you're just going to stir in. Remember that the butternut is hot. And we have added hot water so this consistency is quite hot for you to use your bare hands so I'm just going to use a wooden spoon to incorporate everything together that way slowly so guys you this to be so at this point I'm going to use my hands and I had washed my hands guys so I'm just going to be in hot water because this this mixture is quite hot eh? gives you the best chapatis best so I'm just going to keep doing this 
until the mixture is at a point where it does not stick to my hands. You see, it still does stick to my hands. So I'm going to add in a little bit of flour or flour. We said that it depends on where you went to school. If your school was group of schools or your school was used as a polling station, <laughs> it depends. So at this point, I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. And as you can even see guys, my hands are clear. So there's no dough touching, like sticking to my hand. So once it's this way, I'm just going to cover it with, let me just give you a closer look of what it looks like. This is how your dough should be looking and it should be warm. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, like 30 to 1 hour, so that the gluten loosens up. So guys, the dough has rested well. And see, see what happens when you give dough some time. Everything just looks so good. You see? I hope it's clear. Yes. So, I'm going to show you how I roll my dough. So, I'm just going to pour some flour on the surface. Then, I'm going to make a big, a big, big. I'm just going to, I've divided the dough into half. So I'm just flattening it out as much as I can, guys. As much as you can. As you can see, I'm not even, I, I, I'm not using any effort. The dough is so soft. Everything is just coming out together. So once the dough is like that, I'm going to add some oil that way. You can use your hand or the spoon. I just want the wood surface to look have enough oil. Guys, the other method that you can do this with though i find it quite slow is to divide the dough itself into your desired chapati i'm going to just show you that in a few minutes the other method that you can actually do this though i find this quite fast you know especially when you're making a lot of chapatis the other method is just I find it tedious, but this is the easiest. So you're just going to roll it out that way. Just look at that. We're giving it some layers in the process of doing this. So you're going to roll it this way into the desired size, you know. That you want your chapati to be guys look at that there i hope you can see that look at that yes so i'm just going to place it on the surface that i've already dusted i will place it there and then we'll do it all over again we'll repeat the same procedure for the remaining dough Guys, just look at that. 
This is what is going to help you get the layers, in my opinion, yeah? And guys, like I always say, if you have a better way of doing things, kindly let me know in the comment section. We learn every day, right? So I really mind learning a few tricks from you beautiful people. It depends with the sizes. So guys, let me show you the method I was saying that you can do. You cut your dough. Remember, I have not applied oil on this dough like on this one. So you take your desired chapati, the chapati that you want. You dust your surface. Then you roll it out. Roll it out. So I'm showing you the other way to just, you know, achieve this because there are many ways of doing it. You don't have to like stick with one. So let me just show you the other way. This other method, the chapati doesn't have to be like perfect size. So you apply oil on it. that way then you roll it you can either guys i want you to look at this closely you can either roll this way you know there are so many ways to do it like they are so many ways to do it then you roll it that way that way you get that way. So guys, this is the second way of rolling out your chapati dough. So as you can see, there are two. But I find it, I find this method very tedious, especially when I'm making, I'm cooking like a lot of chapatis. When I'm doing a lot of chapatis, this method is so guys, have a look at the chapatis. So this is like half a kg of flour and it gave me 11 chapatis. And um, that's the cooking oil. And that's our pan. Fantastic. So I'm just going to roll out the chapatis and cook. Yeah? Yes. So I'm just going to pick one.
look at that so try this recipe oh my goodness oh my goodness you're going to love this look at that the layers are inevitable see and the chapati is yummy so yummy guys look at that oh my goodness i love this i just i love 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 this So guys, try out this chapati recipe and let me know in the comment section what you think. See you on our next video.